All right, so start with a basic whoosh. And this one's just a bamboo stick, kind of swish by. First, some texture from Portal. I have the mix slider being driven by the natural amplitude of the sound, so you can see it pushes up and then back down along with the sound's envelope. It sounds really subtle now, but once we add a bunch of limiting and saturation, we're going to be magnifying everything and really squeezing all the juice out. Next is a frequency shifter where, again, the mix knob is driven by the sound, and the shift knob too, so it gradually raises and lowers. Then a preset from Movement brings a reverb tail, but it's very well controlled because the mix knob returns to 0% as the sound dies out. Then animate to exaggerate the dynamics before we squash everything. Next, OTT on 17% just to slam it and pull some of the details forward. Vitamin to add a little high-end sparkle and make the attack sound extra sharp. Inflator for density and harmonics. Then lastly, L1 maximizer to cap it off and control it. The goal is to see if you can pull anything else out of the sound without completely destroying the perceived dynamics. Then I have the sweetener routed into the same channel, so it's going through all the same effects. Note that because the volume has changed, that will affect the response of all my effects because they're all reacting to the volume envelope. Then this chime sound, which goes through Valhalla Vintage Verb before going into the effects. Magic! Then lastly, we're routing everything into a bus where we clean up the low end again, another inflator, and another limiter. Then for the impact sound, I'm starting with this beefy cloth impact. A little R bass to beef up 80-ish hertz in a really clean way. Transgressor 2 going absolutely apeshit. Inflator again adds density and harmonics, but also clips and controls those crazy transients that we just made. Then a limiter just to cap it off. The other piece is the tail. We made a really nice transient and now we need the body and sustain part. For this we're doing OTT on 31% to pull out all the detail and just brick this thing. Then Neutron Transient Shaper to pull the sustain out of the very low end, which would otherwise eat up our compression and limiters and all that stuff. Inflator again for density and harmonics. We're completely going for body and sustain here since our transient is covered. Then finally slamming the shit out of it with a limiter. You can see I also staggered the sounds here so that it's just the transient and then the body. Transients really need to breathe, especially ones with a lot of low end. That's why we sidechain those kicks. I also added in these really long verbed out snare hits because I wanted it to feel really good when the player pulls off a three hit combo. Lastly, these metal chimes to add that twinkly magic stuff. That's it. Leave my presence at once.